My, oh my! Is that a budding theme park proprietor I see before me? I certainly hope so. Otherwise, you're in quite the wrong place, and none of what I'm about to say will make any sense to you. I am Oswald B. Thompson, theme park empresario, and I am here to help you take your first steps in this most exciting of professions. And because it's a first step, we're starting in a somewhat humble location. A charming little park, which, as yet, has not fulfilled its undoubted potential. A park where you will begin to hone your skills. So, first things first, you should learn how to navigate around the park. Moving, rotating, zooming, almost as if you were riding a roller coaster. A massive, invisible roller coaster. Look at that! You've completed an objective! Now, objectives are a bit like bosses. They tell you what you need to do, earn more money than you, and drive a sports car. No, that's not right. Anyway, how about completing another objective? Uh, if I could butt in and make a suggestion, how about you make your next objective opening up literally the only ride in your park? Why is it even closed? Oh! Hello, Lucy. This is Lucy Summers, one of the most enthusiastic and outspoken theme park fans in the world. She's got almost 800 followers. You know, online, not in a cult. Hi there. And it's 900, but who's counting? <laughs> so, the ride? Ah, yes. Opening rides. Go on. Select the ride. Good! And now, open the ride! You did it with such gusto! Well done! And now that we have such an adorable, gentle ride open, more guests, especially families, will soon be flooding into the park. You know, you could turn that flood into... A bigger flood! This place just needs something a bit more thrilling. Well, if people want thrills, then we'll give them thrills. And possibly nausea. Head over to the highlighted area. I think it'll make an excellent location for a ride. But let's ask our head engineer, Eugene. Greetings, Eugene Newton. Good to make your acquaintance. And yes, Mr. Thompson, I think it will do nicely. The proximity to existing infrastructure appears nominal, so guests should be able to achieve both entry and exit with minimal difficulty. So, if you would start by clearing the highlighted area of any obstructions, please. And do not fret, those items will automatically be sold, so we will get at least some of the purchase price back. Very good. Now, I've already chosen a suitably thrilling ride for you, so if you would care to select it... and place it in the designated area. Ah, now, it's very important that when you place the entrance gate, you make sure to leave enough space so you can build a ride queue. Next up, connecting your ride to the park, so people can reach it.
Now, that queue you're building is where guests will wait in line to go on the ride. Point of fact, the smaller the ride, the shorter the queue you will need for it. And vice obviously versa. Very good. And now you should build a path from the exit gate back to the rest of the park. For that, you can simply use normal paths. Oh, and if you do find any obstacles or obstructions in your way, you can build slopes or stairs into your path to get over them. And finally, you can open the ride. No, no, that's not how we do it, is it, Eugene? Apologies, I meant... And finally, you can... Open the ride! Oh yeah, that's more like it! You're gonna get way more teenagers like me and my followers visiting the park now! Ah, oh, don't you just love teenagers? So much disposable income! Cynthia! I didn't see you there! Please, allow me to introduce... Cynthia Clark, Chief Financial Officer. It's my job to make sure these places turn a profit. Speaking of which, thanks to that new ride, the park's rating has gone up. And you know what that means. Cake? We can start charging the guests more money. <sighs> okay, very well. A necessary evil, I suppose. Evil. Did you see that notification? Even the guests think we're undercharging them. Let's do them a favor and fix that. That's right. Take a good look at the notification. It'll tell you what we need to alter the prices of. Oh, look. It's that family-friendly little ride of ours. Go on, put the ticket prices up by a few dollars. That seems a wee bit steep. Oh, honestly, Oswald, the people visiting this park aren't just getting to ride rides. They're getting to make precious memories. So if we put the ticket prices up, then we're making those memories even more precious, aren't we? Oh, no. That actually makes sense. Wait, no it doesn't. Lower ticket price. Look, if you're so worried, why don't we have your new underlings select a few guests and see what they're thinking, eh? Underling, indeed. They are a trainee and they have a name. Although I just realized I don't know it. Well, I didn't see anything to worry about there. Come on, let's just hit fast forward, sit back, and let the money roll in for a while. At least until we've made a healthy profit. Well done on hitting Cynthia's profit forecast. Honestly, I was worried it was a little high. But as always, she knows just how hard to squeeze the guests' wallets. <laughs> anyway, now that we've made some money, we can make some improvements. Oh, but don't forget to slow things back down to normal speed again. After all, it's not a good idea to build a park on fast forward. You might miss out on an important notification, or a ride breaking down, or all your staff leaving, or, heaven forbid, my birthday. Anyway, congratulations! You've just earned yourself a bronze star. The first of many, I don't doubt. <laughs> Oh, 
All right, it's high time we talked about taking care of guests and improving the park. We want those guests to be ha Okay, now that level of happiness might be good enough for most parks, but I still think this guest would be a bit happier if a big chunk of the park wasn't super lame. Don't worry, it's not your fault. That one's on Mr. Thompson. I hardly think that's fair. Don't worry, I've highlighted the problem area. So go on, stick down some scenery. Make it look all piratey. Oh, that is a bit nicer. Uh, I don't believe I said unscoot yet, did I? So, another place it's super important to put scenery is around the ride queues. <gasps> Ooh, you know what? We should compare both of your rides so we can see the difference. Go and select that first ride you opened, would you? You see how it's got a high Q scenery rating? Because of that, the rides press... <laughs> okay, so that's not nearly as prestigious as it could be. But you can fix that by giving us guests some eye candy to look at while we wait. Go on! Stick some nice scenery down around the queue.
Come on, admit it. Isn't that better? And if you check, I bet you'll see that the ride's Q scenery rating and prestige has gone up as a result. Excellent. That means we can also raise the ticket price. Go on, put it up by a few dollars. Ah, oh, heck. I really didn't think this through, did I? Oh, my! Look at all that wonderful new scenery! Well done! Oh, and if I'm not mistaken, by raising this park's scenery rating, I think you might have... Yes, you have! You've raised the overall park rating! And that means more guests will be drawn to the park. Heavens, what an important number, eh? Will you look at that? Are you sure you haven't done this before?
to yell at the dead. No, may I say Really see. Sonnet's good for thee. Tunduza do swan? Thank you.